So welcome to the second part of the report analysis feature. Um, this time I will show you how to use the filters in, um, in Canoe Diva to get uh, a quick uh, walk through the test results. Um, so for example we start in the service view and uh, we pick one service that we are interested in, so maybe this one. So we had that before in the, in the previous video. So I click on that service show only and uh, this means I only see this service in all the other views. Not only in this view, in the service view, but also in all the other views. So that means if I switch to results, I only see the results for that particular service. So I see it here, so there was no failed. Um, we already commented that, 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 er that error here. So I see a response format incorrect data longer than expected. And um, service abstract. And here I see the comments we did in the video before. So by that, I can easily go from a service to what results did, did I get for that service. So uh, by right clicking again on it, I can say, okay, I want to see all again. Can also do that, for example, on, this, on the service ID level. So I click on 22, say show only, and then all other views only contain the read services. So I switch again to the results, and here I see only the results for the uh, uh, read services. So I see the response from an incorrect, that was for the service we already analyzed. And there's another one, uh, which is that one, uh, where I got a, a different error. Okay. So this does not only work from the service view, it also works the other way around. So I can go into the result view and here I see all the errors grouped together. I can click on one of these, uh, for example, and this one, wrong constant value, say show only, and then I can switch back to the service view and I will see all the services that are affected by that particular error. And of course the attached test cases. So this helps me to, to group similar errors together um, and um, to, uh, to relatively quickly analyze uh, test results, hundreds of or thousands of test re results uh, using uh, that different filters. Okay, so I can also do that same from uh, the comment view. So you say we see the comment that we all, uh, comments that we already made and we have a, one section uh, for test cases which were not commented yet. So I right click on that, say show only, I switch to, to the results, see all the results uh, for, for that uh, test cases that were not yet commented. And I can select one error, again show only, so that's the filter is extended by that and go to services and then again, I see which services are uh, affected by that error. That's how to use filters in Diva. Um, I hope you uh, find that part useful and it helps you to analyze your test results.